Hi everyone, it's Nikki here. I thought I would give you a little whiz round um, what's on our new Home for Christmas CD. Um, so this is the actual CD interface. Um, so you just click enter and you go straight into the menu. You can see here we've got 12 different sections. Um, you first of all you've got digi stamps so these are all your black and white images that are great for you to colour in and do what you want with them um, I'm going to go straight in and have a look at our coloured stamps which are our embellishments because this gives you a feel of what's actually on the CD so you can see here we've got these fabulous little houses and this village and these are actually with snow and without snow and I did that obviously so that you can use them all year round it's up to you what you use them for and I've done these for specifically because I continually get asked um, the, or people continually say that they love our neighbours range of stamps but they want them on a digi format and I won't do the neighbours on that format because they work better as stamps to be honest um, so this is this CD is the equivalent of that um, so here we've got our adorable little characters you can see there we've got our igloo and our little Eskimo um, so some of my design team think these are Eskimos as well but actually they were designed as Japanese characters but it, you can use them for either it doesn't matter and then we've got our gingerbread men and ladies which obviously we had to have on there We've then got a really cute little Santa and Rudolph here and Santa's sleigh which is really nice and colourful and other elements here let me show you this lovely bird house uh, bird cage rather so with our CDs if you've never had one before just literally click the image and it'll open up in your default brow um, printer um, and then if you want to print you just literally go to print go into the settings and here this is actually denotes an A4 page um, if you unclick this is actually cutting part of this image off and this is a question I quite often get asked unclick here the thick picture to frame and I feel like I'm lecturing you here and that I'm always going on about it but so many people miss that little option there and this is such an easy way to resize your images as well if you go down this side you can actually resize these right down from this which will print as an A4 right down to a tiny little thumbnail look so that is actually a 35th of the size um, that isn't the size I actually made it but basically you can use this to resize those images so to get four on a page basically makes it fit on A6 two on a page is A5 so if you wanted to decoupage that in any way or layer it basically just select two there and it will print two to a page so you're not wasting paper so even if I don't want to layer something I always print two out and then I've got one to use later on as well and then you just literally select print so that's all it is there's nothing fancy at all anybody can use our CDs there's nothing difficult so we'll just close that down we've got our presents here holly poinsettia I'm just going to flick through these trees and you read we've got this fantastic clock here and if you see here this is great obviously for Christmas and for New Year but I've also not put the hands on here as well and you can actually basically draw in or use a, one of your um, alcohol markers or whatever you want um, and actually draw in a time so say for instance you've got a Christmas birthday and someone was born at midnight on the 27th you can actually draw in the, the hands to the time that you want so really cute and that's exactly why I've done that and again you know I took the um, here oh this is really fancy and really lovely I realize that's quite difficult to cut out so I've actually taken all of that um, detail away from the edge so it's just a circle that you can cut out as well we've got these lovely um, stockings snowflakes we've got baubles again I try and think of things for you so I haven't put the actual string on the baubles because you're never going to be able to cut that out there's no point in having it there um, and if you want to do something digitally all you need to do is just draw a line draw a line in grey and it'll look like a piece of string and then we've got buttons and bows uh, more trees hearts hearts are always great at Christmas time um, so that's that's all your um, embellishments or your coloured stamps we've got toppers on here as well so some great topper sheets 
Um, so you've got plenty to go at here. So I've done all these toppers that hopefully will make it a lot easier for you to cut out and everything. We've got sentiments. So the sentiments I've actually put onto sheets for you. So you can use your spellbinders or your tonic or your Sizzix dies, whatever you like to use to cut out these sentiments. Um, four or six on a page just so that you can get the dies around them. I want to open this one because I love this. This is so nice. So these are really quite decorative, a little bit different, just like little tab, square tabs. Again, do what you want with these. You can make them a lot bigger if you want to. Tie it up to you, colorize them. We've got our tickets here. We've also got a perpetual calendar. And then all of those um, sentiments you also have individually. So if you did want to print them out individually for whatever reason, you can. So that's basically all the sentiments. Let's have a quick look at the backing papers. So again, we've got a lovely backing paper here with that using that clock. So everything coordinates. These are set up as A4, um, you know, but you can resize them if you want to. You know, if some of the prints are a bit big, size them smaller. Um, you've got lots of little, oh, there's a few um, that are nice little scenes in here. So, you know, if you look at that one, that would be perfect, absolutely perfect for wrapping paper. So, you know, these will actually, you would easily be able to print that on A3 and you won't lose any of the quality. So let's just have a quick look at some of these. And again, you know, use these on the fronts of your cards. You know, they're set up in these little um, kind of panoramic views so you can cut them down use them as borders you've got your traditional tartan and on some of these papers you've got extra options for colors okay so um, if that ha you know if that happens or if you don't get an extra color option it's because I haven't put one in because I haven't thought it would be suitable for instance here with the trees you know you're not going to get a different color option there we've got another one here which is another lovely little scene one and I just want to zoom in on this just to sort of show you the level of detail that's in here so you know again you could cut this out you could trim it and make it into borders loads of different options there's another decorative one so this paper, you, um, this CD, you know, you've got some really quite highly decorative things on there, a little, little scene with Santa and Rudolph in there. Um, we've got poinsettia paper here. Um, so that's really pretty. We've got one here with that's our little characters again. Um, and then you've got sort of your generic dots and stripes. Got a lovely gingerbread one here. Um, again, in different colorways for this one. Let's just zoom in on that one. So they're holding ours. So pretty. I love gingerbread men at Christmas. Um, and we've got buttons and then we've got some more stripes at the end as well. Nice, lovely and Christmassy. Um, so if we go back, go back to the menu again. What else have we got in here? You can see we've got a lot of sections we don't normally have. So we've got borders and tags. So plenty of those for you to go at. Um, now, bags and boxes. So we've done something a bit different this time. We've given you extra elements on this CD. So you have some cookie treat boxes here, which are great for little gifts. Uh, it doesn't have to be for a cookie. It's just perfect size. We've got paper cones. And um, there's also um, on here lots of different options there. We've got some gift wallets as well. So there's a few little projects for you in there. We've got some great envelopes in here. I'm going to have to go fly through this really quickly. We've got some decoupage sheets as well. Um, we also have some shapers. So with the shapers, these are great as concept cards. Um, and basically, you know, these are all here. The templates are here for you to actually cut out and make these cards. There's more than this. Um, I'll just have a quick flick through these so you can see there's lots of different options in there for you. Um, we have scenics. Scenics basically are where we've taken the little scenes that are appearing on some of the papers and things and actually really they're kind of like a topper if you like but you also have the scene digitally to colour in as well. So for instance here you have this one in black and white 
and also you have it in colour as well. So it's a good way for you to practicing, practice your colouring more as well as anything else. Um, what else haven't I touched on? Inserts. Inserts. We have, I think it's 24 inserts in here. These have been sized to fit A4, um, an A4 sheet. So obviously an A5 card and you just need to trim um, a few millimetres from each edge if you print borderless. Um, so these are fab and again these would make great card fronts anyway so just print them out as normal and use some of these you could easily chop these down and there are actually some um, square ones as well so if you like doing square cards which I tend to do squares um, you've got some on there as well so as you can see there are loads on this CD we've got extra things on here that we don't normally give you for instance it's the first time ever on a CD that we've given you in Inserts, um, and the shape of cards it's a long time since we've done those so um, there's lots of different things on there hope you like it and I look forward to seeing some of your projects see you later